Hello and welcome to Point of View. In a cosmic spectacle that transcended boundaries, India has etched its name in the Lunar Chronicles, casting a radiant triumph across the celestial tapestry. India's Chandrayaan-3 achieved a spectacular feat that has captured the world's collective imagination. With a pioneering achievement that echoed across the cosmos, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft executed a remarkable feat of landing the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover duo with impeccable precision on the uncharted terrain of the moon's enigmatic South Pole. A groundbreaking achievement that transcends borders and cultures, India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft stormed into history books after achieving what no country has managed to do before it, making a successful landing on the moon's elusive South Pole. As Vikram and Pragyan descended, their delicate dance with the lunar surface was a symphony of human ingenuity and technological marvel. With bated breath, billions around the globe watched as India's ambitious endeavor became a reality, as Vikram executed a soft landing mirroring the gentle grace of an interstellar ballet. There were a host of things that had to work in unison, thrusters, sensors, altimeters, computer software, and other things for a successful landing. Any glitch could have thrown the mission off the rails. India Space Agency had done enough simulations and had redundancies built in so that chances of such failure were remote. According to the ISRO website, the planned duration of both the 1,752-kilogram Vikram lander and the 26-kilogram six-wheel Pragyan rover is one lunar day, equivalent to about 14 Earth days. The rover specializes in studying the moon's surface and holds two key payloads, the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer and the Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscope for comprehensive chemical analysis of lunar surface. The main objective of the Chandrayaan-3 mission was to demonstrate a soft landing on the Moon and to deploy the Pragyan rover on the lunar surface. The rover will also study the location and abundance of lunar water. The lunar South Pole is of special interest to scientists because of the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed areas around it. Observations from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and other spacecraft have confirmed that there's water ice hidden in craters at the Lunar South Pole. The Moon's South Pole has now welcomed its first terrestrial visitors, the proud ambassadors of a nation with an unwavering commitment to exploration. This incredible success also propelled India into the pantheon of lunar pioneers, joining an elite group of just three nations that have successfully landed spacecrafts on the Moon's surface, the US, Russia, and China. The echoes of Chandrayaan 3's success reverberated across the globe, uniting humanity in celebration of our collective ability to reach for the stars. The allure of the Moon's South Pole, with its unique scientific potential and untapped mysteries, beckoned India to push the boundaries of what was once deemed impossible. The achievement is underscored by the sheer tenacity that fueled its realization. Countless hours of research, innovation, and tireless dedication converged in a celebration of human intellect and aspiration. The lunar landscape, with its uncharted terrain and inhospitable conditions, was both a canvas and a challenge. But India's Chandrayaan-3, a testament to human spirit, lit up the darkest corners of the moon with a beacon of hope and progress. In a world where borders blur against the backdrop of the cosmos, India's journey to the moon's south pole is a universal story of courage and exploration. As we stand at the precipice of a new chapter in lunar discovery, India's footsteps on the moon's hallowed ground mark not only a scientific achievement but also a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity's quest to explore the unknown. Congratulations India! Congratulations ISRO! People are applauding. Lander Let us all wait to hear from the Secretary Department of Space and Chairman ISRO, Sri S. Somnath. Namaskar. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Enjoy the well-deserved glow of global awe and adulation. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.